friends at home. In this video, I will be going over this contractions and words that make it page. The first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and I write down my name. In our journeys reading books this week, we started talking about contractions. We discussed the fact that a lot of times when we are talking, we use contractions all the time and don't even realize we're doing it. It's very easy to talk with contractions, but we don't always know how to spell them when we're trying to write them. So today we talked about the would and will contractions. I will, she will, he will, they will, you will. And I would, she would, he would, they would. Serafina, I need that put away right now, okay? Thank you. So we're going to continue, Austin, practicing those contractions. And to do that, we're going to be cutting out the words down here. Now, it's really important that you pay close attention to the way I explain how to do this. Because if you just glue all your contractions here and all your words here, you will get every single one wrong. So it's really important that you pay attention to the way I tell you to do this because that is what you're going to be graded upon, okay? So after you get your name on your paper, you'll cut this bottom piece off. These are your words that you will be using. And then I always tell you to cut off that outside edge or trap because we don't need all that extra paper. It just gets in the way. So once you're done cutting off this extra border, you can recycle it or throw it in the waste basket. Okay? All right. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is look at my words and I'm going to find a contraction. So the first contraction I see is this one. It's she with an apostrophe and two L's. Who can raise their hand and tell me what that contraction is? Drew? She with an apostrophe and two L's is she'll. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be so excited when she finds out that our party is in two days. She'll be so happy when she finds out I'm making her favorite dinner. So I'm going to put the contraction shield right here under the word contraction. This contraction is shield. Now on this side it says words that make it. So there are two words that we squish together to make shield. When I say she'll be here at 5 o'clock, what two words am I saying? Shield. Well, I'm saying she, right? And what else? Beckett? Will. So I'm going to cut out the word she, which is right here. I'm going to do it carefully because I don't want to lose my other words. So there's the word she. And then the other word I'm going to cut out is this word will. Now be careful because see my he just fell off. I don't want to drop it on the floor. And then you'll be coming up to me saying, this is Brad, I lost one of my words. So be careful when you cut. So now I have she and will. Now watch, I'm going to put them right next to she'll. She'll, she will. So that tells me that the contraction is she'll and the words that make it are she, Isaac, and will. Now once you have a pair She'll, she will, you can take your pencil and zing, that is a set. She'll is made up of she will. Let's do one more together. The next contraction I see here says they'd. I know it's a contraction because it has an apostrophe in it. Now if I was talking and I said they'd love to come over, They'd love to participate in that game. They'd love to have dinner. They'd is a contraction, so I'll put it here. What two words am I saying when I say they'd? They'd love to come to the party. Amelia, what two words am I saying? They and 
would. Good job. So I'm going to cut out this word, they. Okay. They. And then I'm going to cut out the word would. They would. And when we're talking, we very often would just say they'd. They'd be so happy. So they and would. So this is the contraction they'd. And it's made up using the words they and would. I have another set done, so I'm going to take my pencil and zing. That's a set. And now you'll do the next one. You'll look for a contraction. You'll cut it out, glue it here, and then glue the two words that make it. And then draw your line and keep going. Does everyone understand what they're doing on this page? Austin, you need to go wash your hands. These are the contractions. These are the words that make them. When you're done, if you want to color the little delicious looking cupcakes, you may. And I look forward to seeing your hard work on these, okay? See you later, friends at home.